Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to my review of the Splint Folding Knife by O Knife. You're at the We All Juggle Knives channel, by the way. Welcome, one and all. Here is the knife in hand. It has G10 handle scales, open construction. It is a liner lock. It's got a flipper. It's got a one position pocket clip. The blade length is just under three inches. It has a blacked out blade, and the steel on this is N690. That's an Austrian stainless steel that's common in European knives. It's got ball bearings on the pivots, so it opens very smoothly. I definitely like the uh, metallic blue color on that pocket clip. Hey, there's some bartender flash for you. Hope you like that. I'm not a bartender, but I've certainly flipped many uh, a bally and other knives in, in my day. We're going to do a lot with this knife. Here's an even closer look. You see the open construction. Those G10 handle scales are smooth and comfortable. Pocket clip. There's many ways to open this knife. Probably the least threatening way is to use that opening slot. That's if you don't want to scare the locals. It's a liner lock. You can see the lock up there. But it also has a flipper so you can open it real fast. All right, it's got texture on the flipper. And it opens very smoothly. But it also has a front flipper, which you can activate with your thumb. All right? Behold. You see that? That's interesting. Another way to open it is uh, Spidey Drop using the opening slot. Spidey Drop. All right? O knife Drop, let's call it. All right? And if, if you don't know how to use a liner lock, you push on the liner to disengage. All right, the blade shape is pretty epic. It's a clip point, but notice how far the clipped out portion goes. Like more than half the length of the blade length, right? So that's a modified clip point, very pointed, lots of belly, and a flat grind as well. And it came very sharp. All right, we're going to cut a variety of materials with this knife. And sorry if there's any background noise. The birds were going crazy. Trucks were going by. All right, this is nylon, heavy-duty nylon strap material, sort of like a seat belt. And as you can see, it can cut through that pretty well. All right now, O-Knife is a brand of Olight, the flashlight company. You know them. Here's some paracord, a typical task you might uh, do with your folding knife. Now, I, I want to stress, this is a real review, you know, Olight... Olight wanted me to kind of do this review three weeks ago for their flash sale, but I told them, no, nah, I haven't had enough time to test it. I want to do a real review. And uh, they said, oh, okay, okay, that's cool. So yeah, I've, I've had this, uh, I've been carrying it around for several weeks. There you saw it took care of the paracord, no problem. But yeah, I mean, I like to actually test my stuff out and, and uh, plus cut a lot of things on camera. So that's just a typical, you know, uh, mailer that you might be if you're opening your mail. You know, you probably you're probably opening your mail and getting another knife in the mail. All right, just a piece of uh, a box if you want to. If you forgot to carry your utility knife, you could use your folder. Does well on the box material. All right, so it's a pretty handy folder all around. I mean, at just under three inches in blade length, it's damn handy. All right, demonstrating that pocket clip. All right, so there you go. That's it, riding in the pocket. I mean, I am left-handed, but, you know, you're probably not, so there it was. All right, cutting some basswood. That's wood commonly used for whittling. And you see it's taking little little chips off, so you could uh, you could carve with it. It's not the ideal but I figured you'd want to see it interacting with some wood. So it's doing an okay job, for sure. Now, the current price of this knife is $70, which is not so bad. It's available on Olight's website, so I'll include that link if you want to pick one up. But one thing you should know, there is a, a higher-end version of this knife that uses S35VN steel, and has titanium on the handle. All right, you see I made a groove in the basswood there. But yeah, there's a more expensive version that uses uh, more sought-after collectible materials, I would say. And that's $100 more. Also available on their website. 
All right, peeling an apple. I sped this footage up, up slightly because uh, I was going pretty slow because it's, it, like I said, it came very sharp. You'll, I'll show you the initial sharpness later, but yeah, got to got to be careful there because the, the apple makes it slippery as, as well. But uh, you know how how it went in the Garden of Eden with that apple. You can things can go wrong quickly with an apple. Now, oh yeah, I don't know if you hear that truck beeping in the background. Yeah, now all kinds of construction and and uh, labor happening in my neighborhood that day. But all right, so there is the apple. Okay, so initial sharpness. Before I did all that, when I first got it, here here's the old uh, paper demo for those who wish to see that. Just listen. All right, there you go. So very respectable initial sharpness. You know, uh, the blade does get thick fairly quick behind the edge, right? So it's not like a Delica, but still had a sharp edge. And while I was there, I just weighed the thing as well. Okay, so we got an exact weight. All right, 2.81 ounces. And uh, now I can convert that to grams as well. 79.8 grams according to uh, the drug dealer scale. No, <laughs> it's my food scale, actually. All right, final thoughts on this, this uh, splint folding knife. Well, it's very small, very handy. It opens smoothly. I feel like it's very attractive. I probably would use a different steel uh, if I could give one suggestion to Olight. I feel like if they used a Sandvik steel in this model, around this price point, I feel that would, might sell better in America because of because a lot of people have Moras, they're very familiar with the Sandvik steels. Whereas this Austrian stainless steel, it's more popular in European markets uh, in my experience. But uh, yeah, other than that, this is a definitely a well-made knife. I mean, it has very attractive lines, definitely no deal breakers. Um, yeah, the Olight and O Knife are coming out with some good stuff so far. I'm going to keep my eye on this brand for sure. The best part about it is the blade shape. It's a slicer, it is a piercer, and uh, the straight, you know, the first portion of the blade, you can uh, push on push with your thumb on the spine and push straight in with some whittling cuts. So multiple types of cuts you can do uh, with that ubiquitous uh, clip point, modified clip point blade shape, but the folding knife market, especially for small EDC folders, is very crowded right now. A huge amount of competition. So only time will tell if, if they can bust through and, and uh, outshine that competition. But for such a new knife brand, they definitely did well. They could have dropped the ball in countless areas, as I've seen many times, and they did not. So a solid early offering from this brand, definitely. I hope you enjoyed this video. In the text description box below the video, I will include tons and tons of useful links for you, all right, to useful items you may want. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.